There is new hope tonight in the fight against Alzheimer's disease. The Alzheimer's Association estimates that as many as 16 million people over the age of 65 could be diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease by the year 2050. That is three times the number of active cases today. And the news tonight is out of a big Alzheimer's conference underway in Denmark, including a lot of talk about how an eye test can help detect signs of Alzheimer's years before symptoms appear. We get our report tonight from our chief medical editor, Dr. Nancy Snyderman. Just going to take a look in the back of the eye. Statement. Imagine a time when a simple trip a to the eye doctor could also be your annual screening exam for Alzheimer's disease. Looking through the back of the eye gives doctors a window inside the brain. It's not a far off idea. Researchers in Australia and at several universities in the United States are perfecting a new way to measure plaque buildup in the brain by looking at the retina of the eye. It's non invasive, not particularly complicated, and is likely a game changer. It may not be the sole uh, indicator of Alzheimer's, but it can be an early indicator, an indicator that tells the eye doctor, for example, that a person should go on and get a more distinct workup. Early detection is one thing, prevention is another. And now a landmark study offers the first concrete proof that some of the things people have been doing to prevent Alzheimer's may actually work. Here's what they did. Researchers recruited more than 1,200 people in Finland ages 60 to 77 who were at risk for Alzheimer's. One group went on a lifestyle improvement program, meaning good nutrition, regular exercise up to six times a week, periodic memory tests, and advice on how to manage blood pressure, cholesterol, and other cardiac risk factors. The results, astounding. After two years, the participants in the special program showed 40% more improvement in cognitive tests than those who were not in the program. Well, let's try this first exercise. Doctors at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center in Boston hope their program, the Brain Fit Club, will have similar results. It gives us a little bit more of an insight into the types of things that are important for maintaining brain health. 69-year-old Susan Mergerman does not have Alzheimer's and is counting on exercise to keep it that way. So feel it all. Her biggest motivation? Family. I have young grandchildren. I want to be able to do things with them. And if I'm not healthy, either body or brain, I won't be able to do that. So important because this is the first time that we've absolutely proven that those so-called lifestyle factors, all those things we've talked about for years, diet, exercise, brain games, they really do work when used in combination. So this should be a wake-up call for doctors to intervene with their patients in ways they have never done before, Brian. And how nice to be reporting glimmers of good news. That's exactly right. Nancy, thank you as always.